Hi guys, I'm Ksenia. Welcome to my channel St. Petersburg Me. In my last video I was telling you how Russians make tea and coffee. And today I would like to continue this food topic. So now I'm gonna show you what snacks Russians like. But first things first guys, let's go shopping. So here are different kinds of chips, nachos, So this is mm, the chip store of Pitorochka, which I was telling about in my previous video. So it's... Mm, the choice is not very... The choice of chips is not very, like, uh, big. Uh, but this is a store just, like, around the corner, so it's not very big. So the choice is... Uh, not very big also this is dried fish this is like fish sticks And here are the prices for like dried bread sticks. It's really cheap. So guys, this is what I bought to show you Russian snacks. And here you can see both. The ones which go with beer, for example, these this ones. And which go with uh, tea, these two. I didn't buy beer. I eat uh, these snacks uh, just like just like like it is without beer. Uh, me personally, I don't like these ones. I never buy them. I like this one, and especially I like this one. But I will tell you on the each. So for everything you see here, I spent uh, eight hundred and sixty rubles. So guys, let's start with the ones which go with beer. I don't like beer, but I like snacks <laughs> which go with beer. Okay, I just don't know uh, what to start with. Okay, let's uh, let's start with the one that are like typical uh, for you. These are chips. Like, do you see the packaging? So this. Um, I don't like chips as well because they are not like helping keeping fit and I'm trying to keep fit and to lose some weight but um, okay I will show you why I like these chips uh, so this is made in Belarus my second homeland and I like them because they look like like this so, so, here are chips. Mm, good, really good. So, they look like this. Ah, something fell off. So, they look like straps. And that's why I like them, but I don't mm, buy them, like, I don't know even um, when the last time was uh, that I eat, ate them. But I do. But don't tell it to my fitness coach, because she will be furious and angry with me that I'm eating this. Mm. This is... Mm, the flavor is called Norwegian lobster. Do you have such flavor in in the country that you live? Mm. Mm. 
Good. Thank you, Belarus. And last time that I went to Belarus, I I saw black chips there. Mm -hmm. The next one. The next one is this. This is actually fish. This is dried fish. Oh, I need scissors. So, this is dried fish and, you know, I don't remember any Russian that I knew or my friend who don't like dried fish. So, uh, how does it look like? So, this is like a half of a very small fish that is dried. So, uh, you can, here is skin, you must um, get rid of skin. And eat. Mm. Oh my god. This is called Jolty Polosatic. Mm. It's really good. It is very salty. So uh, the dried fish uh, is cooked by putting uh, the fish in salt for a few days like four to five days maybe a week so when it absorbs salt you drain all this which has uh, all, you drain all the salt uh, and um, just hang, hang it hang the fish oh my god you hang the fish so that it could uh, dry and in a few days like when it is sunny in summer you can have your um, dried fish done and ready for eating this is really good If you want to try this and you live somewhere near a Russian store, I think you can find uh, some dried fish there and you can try it. But I don't think you will like it. <laughs> okay, next one is um, dried calamari. I like this too. It looks like like straps, like dried straps of calamari. Mm. Good. It's also salty. Okay. Next one are mm, rye bread sticks and mm, just bread sticks. So these are like salmon, salmon and cheese flavored, and this is um, cheese flavored. Okay, let's try this. I don't like this as well because uh, it also doesn't uh, help you with keeping fit. So I don't eat that normally. So it looks like like this, like sticks of bread flavored. And the Russians like
So here you can see different bread. Like this is rye bread. And this is like normal bread. Okay. As you can see, it's good. For me, it's too salty. But okay, I think I will take these uh, to work tomorrow and um, give it to my colleagues. Next are different kinds of uh, nuts. Here are nuts which are covered in um, I, um, in in cream, in sour cream with uh, some um, dill. Mm. It's good. It's like really good. Okay, so these are peanuts that are covered with. Uh, sour cream and some dill and these are peanuts that are covered with uh, that are dipped in um, dipped in coconut milk this is very delicious I can assure you uh, so next next is here like cheese sticks like dried cheese sticks they are called sirchechel Okay, this looks like this. I hope you can see it. And like this. Um, you can also buy smoked one. The same but smoked. So this is very salty. I don't like salty food. And you know, the previous things that I tried were like enough for me of salt, like this day. Oh my god. Mm. To my taste it's like really salty, but I think that is perfect with beer. And the next I want to show you is these. These are sunflower seeds. When I was a child I used to watch X-Files and sunflower seeds were the favorite snack of Fox Mulder and uh, so I suppose that you must know these uh, sunflower seeds and I think um, you should have it at your stores but I've never been to America so I don't know just guys please uh, let me know in the comments down below which of uh, the snacks that i shown to you um, do you have at your stores uh, are you aware of and uh, which of them do you like if you if you buy them at your stores so okay i will show you the seeds sunflower seeds in case you don't know so they look like like this and also Russians like uh, pumpkin seeds and um, so you must peel peel it and so the seed look like like this I would not tell you that this snack goes with beer we eat we eat it uh, like it is when we watch a movie or when we we are having a talk like uh, with our friends or we meet in together so guys do you have these at your stores in your countries please let me know i'm really curious to know so guys and now i will tell you about uh, some uh, snacks that go with tea for example, these ones are prunes, those are dried plums and if you mm, look at these ones, uh, those are also dried plums, but you can see the difference, they are very different. Um, I think that those are 
um, different kinds of plums and maybe they are dried like in a different way and these are dried apricots so you can see Russians like everything dried <laughs> and this uh, are dried uh, apples and peaches um, my mom made makes it and gives gives it to me so um, oh they are so uh, when it is like fresh freshly dried I used to eat it like this like it is but now it's like over dried with uh, the time and um, I will be making um, a drink out of it. In Russian it's called kompot, like brewed fruit. Um, it's like, it's very tasty for me, so I will make a kompot. So, as you can see, um, I ha um, for tea I'm, I don't have many of uh, snacks, but of course there are many more kinds of snacks, either for tea or for beer. Uh, we have uh, dried strawberries, dried cranberries, everything that you can dry, uh, you can have it with your tea in Russia. Now you have a very quick glance of what Russians like uh, to, to snack with. And now it's time to find out who won the presents in the giveaway. So guys, this magnet goes to... Please write an email to me. This keyring goes to... This keyring with nesting dolls goes to... And this poster with Yuri Gagarin goes to so write an email to me and uh, my email you can find my email in description box of this channel so guys of course russians have many many more different kinds of snacks both to go with beer and to go with tea and I showed you the only ones that you can recognize by packaging and by once you are in Russia, uh, either uh, on vacation or like maybe some leaving, I don't know. <laughs> so uh, you can buy it easily in like every store uh, and uh, you can recognize it easily as well. So guys, this is all for today. I hope this video was useful to you. Please let me know if you have all those things at your stores in your country and which one would you like to try once you are in Russia. And thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye guys!